What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the planar tracker in Fusion. So the first thing, of course, you need to have a video clip with a nice green screen. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to select this video clip. We're going to click on our right and we're going to create a new Fusion clip. Now we want to go to the Fusion tab. So the next thing that we want to do, we want to add our planar tracker tool. So how to do this? We're going to hit shift space bar and then you're going to type in planar tracker. You're going to click on it and you're going to add it to your video clip. Now we can create a really nice mask around this green screen. So let's do that really quick. If you want to zoom in, you can do that right up here. Now that we just created a really nice mask, we want to go to our inspector tool. And right up here, you see operation mode. We are just going to leave that to track. Then we see reference time. And what does this mean? So I have my uh, mouse at the begin of this video clip and I want to set it right up at the begin of my video clip. You see right up here, the setting tracker. We're going to leave it to point. Then you see the setting here, motion type. If I'm going to leave it to perspective, there is a chance that my uh, mask will be out of control. So let's see what happens if I leave it to perspective. The output is background, the track channel is Luma. That's all okay. Then you can decide to track to the start of your video clip or you can decide to track to the end of your video clip. So we already start at the begin of our video clip. So we're gonna hit track to end. And guys, Perspective did a really nice and good job. So if you're gonna recognize that this line is out of control with Perspective, you can try to use any of these settings uh, and check which one is the best for you. But for this video, Perspective works just perfect. Okay, now we just created a really nice square around this green screen. We want to go back to our operation mode and we want to change it from track to corner pin. And if I'm going to do that, you will see this weird red square. <laughs> okay, so what does this mean? We want to change this green screen, but we want to see our video clip really precise in each corner. So let's put this corner pin to each corner and then the corner pin setting will do this magic. Something like this. So now we can replace this green screen with something that we have in our footage. Let's say that I want to have a specific part of this video clip playing in this green screen. One thing that really annoys me uh, and that is I have my video clips up here and uh, I can't put an end point and an out point. I need to grab the whole clip and then I'm gonna put it into this green screen. So I cannot grab a specific point that I want to have playing in this green screen. So how can we fix this? This is just my way. If you know a better solution, please let me know. Let's go back to the edit page. Let's choose our clip. Let's say right up here. This is a really nice part. Boom, put the on point. And this part I want to have playing in this fusion clip. So I'm gonna drag it to the timeline. And then I'm going to simply hit on the right and I'm going to create a new component clip, create. There you see, this is the marble one in clip two. Then we're going to select our fusion clip. We're going to back to our fusion and now we're going to open the media pool and right up here in bin clip two, we're going to go to marble one right up here. And then we're going to grab it. And now we have exactly the part that we want to play in this green screen. So let's say that we want to put in the green screen, another green screen with this video clip. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So let's delete this, go back to our editing tab. So I found this really cool graphic on the internet. So let's make an endpoint and somewhere here an out point. Let's grab this one. And let's say that we want to put 
uh, a video clip in here, okay? Pretty easy, I'm gonna do it really fast because I already created a video of that. You're gonna click on this, you're gonna go to Fusion, you're gonna open up the Delta keyer, you're gonna add it, and then just simply point out the green screen. And now we go back to our Edit tab, and then we're gonna put a video under this video. Just this part of the video, in point, out point, bam, and put it under the green screen, something like this. Let's say that we want to put this video clip, what we just created, and put it in this green screen. We're just gonna make a new compound clip. Uh, basically, you're gonna make out of these two clips, you're gonna create one clip. For the people who use Premiere Pro, it's also known as nesting your clip. So we're gonna select it, we're gonna click on the right, and we're gonna create a new compound clip. And there, you're gonna save it in your clip bin number one. Now, we're gonna go back to this Fusion clip in Fusion, and then we're gonna search for YouTube effect, boom, and we're gonna add it, and right up here, we just added this really nice and cool effect. So yeah, you will see the green screen because this clip takes a little bit longer. But let's say right up here, we're gonna delete it, and we're gonna go back to Fusion, and now this is what we created. All right, so this is our end result, but now let's say that we want to change the color of this clip. Just simply go back to your compound clip. So in my case, my compound clip is on this timeline. Then I'm gonna click on the right, and I want to open it in a new timeline. Boom. Right up here, I already have it. I see that I have my full control again of this video clip. So let's say we want to give this a really quick color. Let's select the video clip, go to the color tab, select the video clip again, just give it a simple LUT, boom, and go back to the edit tab, and now go back to the end result. So you created a really nice color, and it affected everything in this video as well. All right, guys, so if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumb up, leave something in the comment as always, and I'm gonna check you out in my next video. Bye-bye.